Okay, FAQ number 69. The question comes up, Genesis chapter 14, verses 12 through 16, and the brothers of Jesus. It's kind of an odd question, but uh, you'll see what we're talking about here in, in a couple minutes. Um, this is actually the second time I've had to do this video. Uh, the first one I did, I kind of tried to explain what's going on here in the book of Genesis. And I didn't do a very good job of it. And the Lord kind of convicted me after the video was done and I had it edited and rendered and everything. And, and it was just like, you need to study this thing more and bring it out again. So this is take number two. Um, so let's look at the passage here. Genesis chapter 14, verse 12. It says, And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, and who dwelt in Sodom and his goods, and departed. Okay, the Sodom and Gomorrah is, is um, basically overrun by the enemy, and they take Lot captive. But what does it say his, Lot's relationship is with Abraham? Okay, what does it say? It says Abram, actually, excuse me, because Abraham, he gets named that later on by God. But he is Lot, they took Lot, Abram's brother's son. So what would Abram be to Lot? It would be his uncle. Right? Lot's the nephew. But let's continue reading. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshel and brother of Aner, and they were these were confederate with Abram. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan, and he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, and smote them and pursued them unto Hobah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. Stop there for just a minute. You say, wait a second. So Abram's, Lot, or Abram's nephew Lot and Abram's brother were taken captive? No, it's actually both references are to Lot. You're going to see that here in the next verse. <coughs> Verse 16, And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women also, and the people. Alright, so you say, now wait a second here. How could Abram be both uncle and brother to Lot? That doesn't make any sense. And originally I was thinking, well, you know, maybe, I guess the Bible doesn't really say, and I thought, well, maybe somehow one of Abram's brothers married uh like a mother-in-law or something like this of or some kind of deal you know abram's father got married again and then the son married her and i you know i didn't really know what to say but if you actually study the bible you can find the answer so go to genesis chapter 11 uh verse 27 Okay, it says here, now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran begot, begat Lot. Okay, so you have three sons there. Abram, Nahor, Haran. All right. So that's why Abram is the uncle to Lot, because Lot, his father, is Haran there, and Haran is the brother of Abram. But let's continue reading. Verse 28. And Haran, Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his nativity in Ur of the Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah. Now look at this. The daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarah was barren. She had no child. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan, and they came unto Haran and dwelt there. Okay, so who was uh, Abram's sister-in-law? Milcah, who was her father, Haran. So or, uh, excuse me, uh, was it, no, Nahor, excuse me, Nahor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran. So, Haran had two children. Uh, well, maybe he might have had, uh, no, okay, the father of Iscah as well there. So, but he, the point is, I don't, I, I guess I can't really say he had two or he had three or something. Three are mentioned. Lot and uh, Milcah and Iscah. You know, and so, Nahor 
which was Abraham's brother, marries uh, Milcah, which is Lot's sister. So that would have made Lot both uh, nephew and basically brother-in-law to Abram. So that's why the Bible says that Lot is uh, basically his nephew and his brother. And many times it doesn't say brother-in-law. There are many times it just says brother. Uh, they're just likened to a brother or a sister, and they're a brother-in-law. So that clears that portion up. You say, what does this have to do with Jesus? Well, you can turn your Bible to Mark chapter 6. Now, this question was sent to me, and they said that we have some Catholic acquaintances, and they use this portion of Scripture. They go back to Genesis chapter 14, and they say, see, Abram calls Lot his, he's basically the nephew and the brother. So, the word brother doesn't necessarily have to mean brother. It can just be kind of whatever. And here's why they say this. Mark chapter 6, verse 3. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and of Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. Now, a modern day a Catholic is offended at this verse because this verse clearly shows that Jesus had at least a minimum of six brothers and sisters. Okay, four brothers and two sisters are mentioned. Why? Because well, I should say, I shouldn't say two sisters are mentioned. At least two sisters are mentioned because sisters is plural. So there was at least two. There could have been eight sisters for all we know. We have no idea. But the point is there at least have to be two for it to be called sisters. All right. And I believe later on you see that Salome uh, is mentioned and I believe that she was one of Jesus' sisters, you know, born between Joseph and Mary. But the point is this these Catholics, they'll try to use anything that they can to maintain their doctrine of the perpetual virginity of Mary, that she never had children. You know, they don't like that because a God woman is not supposed to actually be just a regular childbearing woman that needs to be saved. But that's what Mary was, according to Scripture. So you say, but, but how does this, all, this whole thing work out? How can they use Genesis, what's going on back there with Abram, and he calls Lot his brother? See, when you actually look at the scriptures and you actually go through it and you realize, oh, okay, yes, Lot was related to Abram as Abram was his uncle, but he was also his brother-in-law. That's why he's called brother. Um, where does it say anything in here about these people being brother-in-laws to Jesus? It doesn't. It doesn't say a thing about it. And in context, you look at the context of it, it's, is not this the carpenter? Jesus. The son of Mary. The brother of. Why would that be put right in there? It's talking about a family. It's talking about that family unit there of mother, brothers, sisters. You know, and I believe that Joseph probably was dead around this time there. It looks like Joseph died fairly young. And but the point is, you know, I mean, how can you take this, if you really know what the Bible's t saying, and I realize Catholics don't, but you can't take this portion here and then go back to Genesis and try to say, see, it says brother, and we know that he wasn't really the brother, but, you know, and so it's likable to, or comparable to this here, where it says the brother of Jesus, and, and therefore, that's nonsense. Uh, no, when you actually read the context and you read other chapters and things there, and you realize the relationship between Abram and Lot, that he was both uncle and brother-in-law to Lot. And then you compare it to this. Um, Jesus was not somehow an uncle or some kind of a whatever, whatever. It's clearly talking about Jesus' actual step-brothers and step-sisters is what they would be in our modern terminology. In, in the Bible, they're just called brother and sister. But it's talking about the family of Jesus. So uh, this passage right here is one of the key passages that disprove the Roman Catholic teaching of the perpetual virginity of Mary. Uh, Mary was not a god walking around on the earth. Uh, she was a blessed woman, and she was chosen by God to, to be the mother of Jesus and uh, to carry him for the time of being with child and then to give birth to him. And... Um, 
it was a blessed thing. But uh, she's not a, a god, and nobody has any business worshiping Mary. So that'll answer that question, and we will go on to the next one.